And so the Fox River, it is well beyond its banks here in Wheatland, which is just west of 94. And while flooding is certainly prone to happen in this area, you still have a lot of roads like this one that are cut off by water. Following days of relentless rain. Oh, it's a little bit of a bummer. It wasn't snowing till I walked outside. And snow. It is April in Wisconsin, so it's quite typical and doesn't bother me at all. The Fox River from Waukesha to Kenosha County is currently raging. It's definitely high and it's only high. There's no water there. As you see, the sign just says high. Right now, navigating through certain parts of Bailey Sokolsky's neighborhood is tricky, with water covered roads too dangerous for cars. Since Tuesday, this portion of the Fox River has risen more than two feet, pushing it well above flood stage. It's a sight so familiar to residents of this Wheatland neighborhood, I couldn't even finish my question. How often? Every year. Every year it floods. I'd say the road at least goes underwater over there. It doesn't get this bad, but it, it goes under every year. There's only like three houses left. Neighbors here reference 2017 as its worst flooding year. The river cresting at 17 and a half feet. Right now it's at 13.1 feet. Let's see if we can do some riding. Maybe have some fun. Enjoy the uh, weather that we have. Great Wisconsin weather. Hannah, that water behind you is high and the water is still rising there in Kenosha County. It is Kristen is expected to rise a couple more inches over the next several hours, peaking at 13.4 feet. The National Weather Service predicts that that's going to happen sometime tomorrow morning. A real mess out there. Yeah. Hannah Hilliard reporting live in Wheatland tonight.